Hi, it's Video Friday. Welcome back to Great Photography and Video on a Budget with George E. Harrison. And as you can see, by the weather, yes, it's the fourth day in a row, at correction, it's the fifth day in a row of wind and rain. Well, so I'm going to be a little lazy today and just stay here on the front porch and do everything from the front porch. And what we're doing today, we're going to compare two lenses. It's really maybe comparing like a lion to a house cat, but bear with me, I'm going to explain what I mean. The first lens we're going to be talking about is the 14 to 150 f4, f5, 6 Olympus lens. We're going to compare it for sharpness and everything like that with the 45 1.8 lens from Olympus. And, and why are you probably asking why we're comparing two totally different lenses? Well, this one is a dedicated prime lens, you know, for taking portraits and things like that. And this is a general all-in-one lens for, you know, wide scenes, telephotos, and portraits. But sometimes you might only have one lens or maybe not have that dedicated portrait lens. So we're going to set this one on the 45 millimeter at its widest f-stop, which would be 5.4. And of course, this one, it'll be on 1.8. So, but we're going to compare the sharpness, the out-of-focus background, and things like that. Yes, it's like comparing a lion to a house cat, but, you know, sometimes those comparisons can be fun. So, let's get along, let's, let's, get, on, let's get on with it. Now, this is the 45 millimeter 1.8 lens. This is the 14 to 150, but I did have to lower the shutter speed to get the same exposure. This is the 45 1.8. Let's see how sharp it is on the street sign. This is the 40 to 150. Let's see how sharp it does on the sign. In the case you're wondering, this lens I bought almost four years ago for $300. Now you can find it on eBay or B&H Anaromatum used for around $250. So you can see it hasn't really went down that much. It's not the second generation. The second generation is still 14 to 150, but it's weather sealed. Now this one you can take out in light moisture, but not as much heavy rain as the newer one. But everything I've been told and the feedback I've got from other websites is the, the, the newer one, yes, it's weather sealed, but it's not any sharper. So you can decide it, it's an extra cost. It's worth it. And this one, it runs in price anywhere, if it's new, between maybe $325 to $399. Sometimes you can find it on sale new for $249. I bought mine, it was a year old, used as a Christmas gift for myself for $200. So you can see, if you look around, have some patience, you can get some great bargains on some great lenses. This is the 45 millimeter 1.8. Let's see how it picks up detail on the post. This is the 14 to 150. Of course, I had to lower the shutter speed to get the same exposure. But let's see how it picks up detail on this post. Now to wrap up our quick Friday video, we're going to do a portrait test and see which lens, the 45 1.8 or the 14 to 150, will do the best. Now, going into it, it should be the 45 1.8 because it's a designated portrait lens. But sometimes you might not have a portrait lens. You might have to just have a zoom lens. And how will it work in a pen? But since I can't get my wife to come out here on the wet, damp porch, I do have a model. And my model, in honor of my brother and my sister, my good friend George McNeil, is Aggie Pride Jr., the little bulldog. So, let's get to the test. Now, this is the 14 to 150. So, let's see how sharp this lens gets him. And also, take a look at the background. And you will notice, safety first, since he's sitting on the rail on my porch, he is wearing a seat belt or a safety belt. Now, this is the 45 1.8. How sharp is it? It was Aggie Jr. Bear. And take a look at the background. And that, how, how the two backgrounds compare as far as being out of focus. Which one do you prefer? Yes, I know this lens we're looking at right now is a dedicated portrait lens, but sometimes you might have to use the other lens in a pinch, and that's just why I'm doing this test. Yes, I know it's like comparing a lion to a, to a house cap. Sometimes the house cap might be the only thing you have. Well, what do you think of my totally unscientific lens test? Yes, sometimes 
you might have a line adapted to the role of a house cat, and sometimes you might have to have a house cat adapting to the role of a line. Well, that's one of the fun things about photography. There are rules, but one of the main rules about photography is there is no rules. Do what you enjoy in the way you view the world. And I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey. And of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit the notification button so you can get all my videos on Tuesday and Friday. Also, hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching this on Facebook, don't forget to uh, turn on your notifications so you can get all my videos on Tuesday and Friday. And if you're wondering what I'm actually shooting my stand-ups on, it is the Fuji HS50 because it has a built-in mic. Now, correction, it has a, a mic port where I can plug in a mic and the Olympus does not. So I want to thank you again for coming along with me on this photographic journey. And guess what? I'm planning on seeing you Tuesday.